going on guys it's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to do this really awesome twitch effect in Final Cut Pro 10 it's actually really easy kind of simple uh, however if you guys aren't really familiar with kind of like uh, keyframing or, or anything like that then uh, I suggest you guys watch a tutorial on that that I made on my previous videos so um, without further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys the effect right now and what we're going to be doing in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is the effect right here. That I'm at an all time. So that's pretty much the effect right here. It just kind of makes like a little, it kind of zooms in and it kind of gives it a kind of glitchy movie effect kind of uh, look. Hence the name Twitch effect. Now, I do want to go ahead and point out that I didn't come up with this concept, uh, especially with Final Cut Pro 10. However, I went on to this YouTuber. His name is Tom J. McCoy. So um, I highly suggest you guys check him out. Tell him that I sent you. Also, be sure to comment down on my latest Instagram post. Uh, my Instagram is at its.troll. Go ahead and comment down on my latest picture of what videos you guys want to see next and I will be following uh, some people back. What I want to go ahead and do or what you want to go ahead and do is put your video and add your music. Now of course you want to have a song that kind of has like a drop or something similar to where you know where to add the markers at. So on your video you want to go ahead and select it. Go to where you are going to add the drops and if it has more drops in your song the better and the longer the video the better of course. So we have this right here. I'm only going to do it to one because I don't want to. I don't want to make this video too long. However, we have this right here. He kind of catches the ball. I added a marker just in case, and then he actually moves the ball up, uh, just like that. And that's where I want the effect to be. So I added a marker right there, and I also added another one right here because that's where he kicks it. So three markers. You don't have to do that. You can do one or two, depending on how many drops or effects you guys want. So once you have done that, you added the song. And uh, I added the song to where the drop happens right at the same exact time. A little bit more to the right, but that's okay. It's pretty close. So once we've done that, we want to go ahead and cut each of these clips. So go ahead and go on to the blade tool. And that will bring up the, um, or press B on your, on your keyboard to bring the blade tool. Cut each of the markers so they should snap. If it doesn't snap, go on to the right and there should be the snapping option. Uh, or press N for the shortcut. So go ahead and click on that to uh, have each one as their own. So once you have done that, we want to go ahead and start adding the effects. So go ahead and click on the video. Make sure the time head is at the very beginning. So go on top where it says the percentage. Go down to about 25% so you guys can see everything here. You want to go ahead and go onto the inspector uh, window. So go ahead and click this little button right here. And that is command 4 for the shortcut. Once you are there, go to the transform. Usually it's going to be like this. It's going to be hidden in the newest version. Go on to the transform tool, click show, and you're going to have this option where it says position. Make sure that the time head is at the beginning where the marker is along with the audio there. So you want to go ahead and add a keyframe. So go ahead and click this little plus icon and now we'll go ahead and set a keyframe. Go ahead and move two keyframes over. So do that first. So now you're two frames over and then click the transform tool, move it up a little bit. Don't hold shift because that will change the perspective. Uh, ironically, I guess. So once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and move the uh, the little transform window. So now you wherever you move it, you're going to have this little anchor of this little wing there. OK, so I'm going to move it down. OK, and I'm going to go ahead and go two frames over again. And now I'm going to move it maybe to the left. So you can see that I'm adding another keyframe. So I'll go two frames over and now I'm going to move it up just like that. So now if I push play, we have something just like that. So let me go ahead and push play. So that should be two or three frames. So as you can see here, let me go ahead and uh, make this bigger so you guys can see. So I'm going to fit. We have the first one, which is the one in the middle. It goes towards the right. So there should be two keyframes in between each frame. So one, two, one, two, and one, two. So this is our ending spot. So if that makes sense, then you're on the right track. So once we are done with here, we want to go ahead and add that little glitch or 3D effect. To do that, it's very simple. Go onto the effects panel and go to the stylize. From here, what you want to go ahead and do is add the uh, effect called bad TV. Go ahead and drag that onto the clip, okay? And uh, you guys can edit on here or just make a copy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a copy first. So select the clip, press command C to copy the video clip that you have selected. Go to the very front of the timeline. 
press command V and that will um, go ahead and paste it right to the side. So drag that to the top. So now we have two of the same clips. So once we are done here, we want to go ahead and add the effect to the bad TV. So go ahead and go on to the effects, go under the uh, effects and go to bad TV. You want to go ahead and change the amount. So the more you go to the right, the stronger the effect will be and the, the more weird it will look. I'm actually going to go with like 50, about 50%. The static type, I usually go with just TV static. I don't want to go too crazy with the effect here. But if you go and choose other ones like white noise, you guys can do that as well. Uh, then we have the static blend mode. This is where you guys can change the blend mode. Uh, if you do multiply, it will just kind of make it so it's not too strong or harsh. However, you won't really see the 3D effect, so I wouldn't do multiply. Uh, maybe screen would be good or color dodge or something like that would be good as well. Once we are done with that, we want to go ahead and cut to where the drop actually ends kind of so we want to go ahead and go onto the audio go ahead and push V to enable it again and I'm gonna go ahead and choose where it ends I think right here is where it ends so I'm gonna go ahead and push B for the blade tool now this is why it comes in handy and selecting or making a copy of it I want to make sure that I'm actually on the timeline so go to the right of it and I will go ahead and delete it or we can just go ahead and delete this one uh, the first one and uh, that will get rid of the effect there and just keep the original one right here So now if we go ahead and push play, this is what we should have that I'm at an all time. And of course you guys can add more effects like I said, so this is what we have in the end that I'm at an all time. So that is, of course, the effect there. So I'll catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.